What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my new subscribers and for all the support I've been receiving. In today's video, we're going to discuss Aaliyah, the actress. How long will she have kept it up? Will she still be acting? Will she have Oscar nominations by now? Will she still be making the biggest hits on the corresponding soundtracks? My answer is yes. Let's get started. So, I've recently rewatched some of the footage of Aaliyah behind the scenes of shooting The Matrix Parts 1 and 2, where she was cast to play the character Z. Mind you, Aaliyah was filming both parts of The Matrix, doing post-production for Queen of the Dam, and promoting her third self-titled album at the same time. She was booked and busy and only getting us prepared for what was to come of her stellar career. In the behind-the-scenes footage of The Matrix, I could just observe Aaliyah's drive and dedication to nailing the part and getting it right. This was a pivotal point in her career, and she was not letting up. I think, no, I know Aaliyah had been bitten by the acting bug, and she was going to have a perfect balance of doing it all, being a full-on entertainer like she always said she wanted to be and ended up becoming. This passion was also seen in Aaliyah's very first role as Trish in Romeo Must Die, and her next as Akasha in Queen of the Dam. As stated before, in just a short time as an actress, Aaliyah was able to show her versatility. She went from this... My mom comes running out the house. She's like, Trish, what's wrong? When, when I told her, I mean... The look on her face. You know, even when Colin popped up to show it was just a joke, she just couldn't stop crying. She just held him close. Clutched him, you know. It's just a baby I didn't get it then, but I get it now. Kelly. What happened? Colin's dead. And no matter how hard I cry, He's not going to pop up and show me it was just a joke. I'm sorry. I need your help. I gotta put this thing together to, to this. Aaliyah was not playing anymore, and I feel like she had finally found her niche in the industry and figured out how to dominate all platforms and aspects of it. Perfect example of this is Try Again from the Romeo Must Die soundtrack. Her most famous single, straight from her first movie, made history and gone number one based on airplay alone. We could also include I Don't Wanna, which, while not as big as Try Again, was still a hit also featured on the Next Friday soundtrack. Before that, we could take it back even further to Are You That Somebody from the Dr. Doolittle soundtrack in 1998, which was also another mega hit for Aaliyah. Aaliyah and her team of producers, new and old, had the perfect creativity for producing songs for movie soundtracks. I'm pretty sure as Aaliyah went on in her ex excelling career, she would have had even more dope movies with 
dope songs to go right along with them, making her the full-rounded artist she always wanted to be and became. I could see it now, Aaliyah more than once simultaneously having a number one movie and song in America at the same time as her popularity continued to grow. Similar to Whitney Houston with The Bodyguard and I Will Always Love You. Besides Matrix 1 and 2, Aaliyah was also set to star in Sparkle after being handpicked by the one and only Whitney Houston. Honey, which was more of a dance hip hop drama movie eventually given to Jessica Alba, and many more as she has signed a movie deal with Warner Brothers that had her scheduled to film movies up until 2007, a first for an RB artist of her generation, by the way. I say all of this to say, I've seen many people over the years saying Aaliyah would have became a full-blown actress and left music all alone when they try to compare to how she would be today. They think that Aaliyah would have, you know, been and uh, been an old trend and she would have just gave up music altogether. I don't necessarily think so. Aaliyah would have been one of the queens of Hollywood, perfectly being able to balance her music and film career as she had an equal passion for both. I could see Aaliyah doing more action, musical movies, and comedies with the occasional dramatic piece for Oscar consideration. What are y'all thoughts of Aaliyah's film career? Do y'all think she would have became a full-blown actress and how successful at it? What movies would y'all have liked to see Aaliyah in or do? Let's discuss it down below. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when I post. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video. You know, right now, it's hard to say what I want my legacy to be, you know, what I want people to say when I'm long gone. I want people to look at me as a full-on entertainer and a good person. Come out, come out, whatever you are.